Hello there, Cancer. What's going on? Cancer, my name is Antoine, and I want to welcome you to your love messages for the end of July of 2022. These messages could roughly cover the 21st through the 31st for all placements of Cancer, including the Cancer lover if you're in the house. All right. Um, as usual, we're going to kick things off using the Golden Twin Flame Oracle in combination with the Golden Soulmate Oracle. And then we'll clarify around it using the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. All right. These messages are general, so make sure that you keep that in mind. Please don't force any message that doesn't apply. Okay. Just take it as it resonates, however it resonates. Okay. Um, Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cancer Lover. What is the energy in love, romance, and relationships for the end of July 2022? Cancer energy. All right, let's get one more. All right. All right, Cancer, hopeful. Okay. All right. And then under the deck, coming together. All right. Okay. Um, I'm hearing the word um, like encouragement. Okay. Um, Cancer, I think that this message here may be just encouraging you to just have hope that something is going to come together as it should. Okay. This may be a message of timing. All right. Um or this could just be a message of you guys making already making a connection and you're kind of seeing things beginning to kind of match up and mesh pretty well with this individual. And I really feel like you just have high expectations for this situation. Um, it's like, you know, you're just, again, really hopeful that this situation will play out the way that you want it to. OK, but as of right now, I definitely see two people making a connection, coming together, being pulled, being drawn together. Look how huge and super this moon is on this card right <laughs> so it's like y'all's hearts are gravitating towards each other okay um it may be even somewhat magnetic you know it's a really really beautiful energy that's coming together with you guys and like i said cancer it just feels like you're just hopeful that things are really really going to work out for the best here in this particular situation all right um now, listen, I'm going to go ahead and say I know that doesn't, you know, cover everything for everybody. So if this message is something that you can't resonate to or that you don't want to hear more about, then I want to thank you so much for your time. All right. It's very much appreciated. Make sure that you check out your moon rising and Venus signs. OK, um, everyone else here, let's go ahead and continue to clarify this energy. All right. Tell, tell us more about this energy here for Cancer. Who are they coming together with or who are they already connecting with that they're hoping for the best for? Okay. Many of you, I think that if you're just single, single, you're just hopeful that you will have an opportunity to come together with someone. Okay. During this time. Could be um, feeling very ready to put yourself out there in a particular way. And now everything is coming, you know, everything is coming together to suggest that, you know, you're going to do that. Okay, side note, y'all, like, I am, like, getting the strangest view of something that's going on outside of my window, y'all. I got to get out of the hood. <laughs> All right, back into here. Let's go ahead and clarify this energy for cancer. All right, so we have the Six of Cups here, okay? The Queen of Cups. Hmm. Strength. Seven of Wands here. Under the deck, the Page of Pentacles. Hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. Cancer. <clears throat> You have a particular standard. Now, I'm not saying you have like a long list of must-haves. I'm not saying that. But there's a certain standard 
a certain caliber of individual here that you want to be dealing with. And I definitely feel like for many of you, that is coming to you soon. That energy is coming to you soon. Others of you, if you already feel like you've been connecting to this energy, then I definitely can see why you're very hopeful that this is going to work out. Okay. It feels like this person um, has set an expectation with you. If, you. if you're already connecting to this person, it feels like this person has already set the expectation of, you know, we're going to know each other for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Like without saying it, without putting a title on whatever it is that y'all are in at this moment as it blossoms, this person gives you the impression that they are going to be around for a while. And I feel like you may not, um, at first, you may not have been talking to people about this situation. It feels like you've been just kind of enjoying, enjoying all of these feelings to yourself. Okay. Um, you know, something that you, someone, someone that you enjoy, but you don't necessarily tell other people that you enjoy their company. Um, you know, just because people be hating and stuff when they feel you, you know, when they feel you happy. So, like, that's the kind of energy that I see there. All right. Now, now, what I will say here is, like, this person definitely feels like, this person feels like they're very strong-minded. Cancer. This person feels very strong-minded. This person feels very much, you know, in control of their impulses, in control of their urges. I feel like this person has been somewhat of, like, a perfect gentleman to you or... Uh, for others, the perfect lady or just whatever, you know, just to, you know, break down the gender constructs, um, you know, like this person has just been just very respectful of boundaries, you know, with you when it comes to like the physical side of things. You understand what I'm saying? This person wants more of that. And so they're behaving in a way where they're being more patient with you than people have been in a while. Okay. I see the seven of wands energy as like um, <laughs> kind of twofold in a way. This person kind of, you know, makes you feel good about yourself. Like they kind of big up your ego in a way. Um, but then at the same time, you know, I feel like, you know, as you guys begin to come more together, there there does seem to kind of be where like you become a top priority over anybody else that this person may have seen as an option. And so it may be a little bit of competition. However, there's there's no, you can't compare where you can't compete. And it's like, nobody can really compete with you. You're already, you know, the person that they are choosing to come together with, right? You're just kind of maybe dealing with, you may end up having to deal with some residual energy of, other people figuring out, oh, oh, okay, yeah, you know, can't, can't, cancer's the one now, you know what I'm saying? Um, or cancer is the one, you know? Um, I don't feel like it'll be a lot of drama, it's just, and that's, but that's exactly why you're not telling people, that's exactly why, you know, the feelings that you're having or that y'all are sharing are kind of, it feels to me very much where it's, it's, kind of secretive it's kind of hidden it's kind of in the background all right which is also why you are hopeful that it's going to work out because you know if nobody knows that y'all are together then that's why other people feel like it's so comfortable to try to come up in their energy you understand what i'm saying but once this person begins to feel make you feel like you know that they're going to be around that's when you start feeling more comfortable to let it be known you know what i mean and so there may be an energy of you kind of having to fight off people, letting people know, you know what I'm saying? Cancer's the king of the hill. You know what I'm saying? I got this. You know what I mean? So. And let me also, let me keep it real because, you know, like, I don't want to try to, I don't want to, let me say this cancer because I don't want to like play into like the, you know, pick me culture. Right. But at the same time, that is kind of like the culture that we live in. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wants to be chosen. You know what I mean? But I don't think that you were approaching the situation as, oh, I'm the one that's chosen. It's just like you're kind of put into a situation of, you know, you just have to let people know, like, listen, like he, he or she, you know, they're taken. 
you know, I got them. You know what I mean? I got them. Let's continue to clarify. Now that I have uh, over explained that. <laughs> cutting and finish out the rest of this message here okay so we have the queen of pinnacle okay the ace of cups Ooh, not the reason why all right we'll get there okay let me just say it because i forget <laughs> um let me tell you why you stand out, Cancer, uh, among anyone else that is like vying for this person's attention. Like I said, it's first of all, it's effortless, right? So it's like you're not, you're you're not one of these pick me type of, you know, individuals. You understand what I'm saying? You know, male, female, boy or girl, or whatever you identify as. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, you know, you're just not that type of person. Okay. But um, anyways, they see the pure generosity that you have. You understand what I'm saying? Like they like how intuitive you are as well. You know what I mean? It's like they can have deep. There's a there's a there's a certain depth about you that they want to explore a lot more, which they know, like I said, they know it's going to keep them around for a long time. You know what I mean? Like they feel like there's certain layers to you that they want to explore. And it, it doesn't feel like a conquest or anything like that. It just feels like genuine, pure interest that they want to match with. You know what I'm saying? Um, and they want to give into that the way that you seem to kind of be a never ending well of energy or a cup for that matter that they're able to explore. So it's like they're willing to give back to you in any sort of way. Like that's what, that's the energy that they're connecting to. You understand what I'm saying? So like I'm I already seeing like the reason why cancer you're the one that's standing out. Okay? Which why which is what you know the the whole uh reason for being hopeful in this situation. <clears throat> why there's hope in this situation rather. The tower. Okay. The tower and then the three of wands. Okay. And then the king of swords. Okay. And so cancer, this is like, you know what? <laughs> this is what I see. It's like, okay, cancer. It's like once you kind of understand, um, like, the reasons why you stand out to this person, honestly... This becomes less important. The tower moment is more for like the people around you who doubted that this could be a situation that would work because of the type of person that they are, because of the type of attention that they garnish, right? There were people, there were detractors there that implicated a certain set of rules on you, Cancer, here with the King of Swords to say, oh, that you couldn't deserve somebody like this. This person is out of your league or something like that to that degree. But I feel like this... This tower shuts down those con shuts down those uh, those ideas, those things that you know, those defense mechanisms that you build up in your mind because of the things that people have said to you like that. Because of people's doubt, where you had hope, they had doubt, and your success, your new blessing of good love. <laughs> With the very type of person that they said that you couldn't have cancer, like, it's freedom from those, from that type of, that tower. That's like, that's like Rapunzel being in the tower, literally, and being told not to go outside, even though all she wanted to do was go outside. She was told life was this particular way. This is how life is going to go for you. 
But nah, Cancer. <laughs> nah, you remain hopeful. You remain hopeful. And what's actually coming, what's coming together for you is something that's going to break all of those rules and is going to um, just allow a lot more blessings to come into you, to come into your life and to come into your situation involving this love directly. Okay. It's a new path forward into something new and something fresh. And it's coming forward towards you in the form of a love that people told you that you can never have. And you're changing that. You're seeing in real time how that, what that feels like for yourself. How that transformation feels in yourself being being doubtful of having love ever. And then now, because someone has shown you your worth, now you are switching that to being hopeful for this situation. I love it. Cancer, y'all better go ahead. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really like this energy a lot, you all. Um, and I hope that you were able to either even if you couldn't identify it and you stuck around, uh, I just hope it made sense. <laughs> okay. Um, I want to thank you all for your time. I truly, truly appreciate it and value it. I would just kindly ask that you go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. All right. And hopefully I'll get to see you all in the next messages. All right, cancer. So, Take care and until the next time, bye.